So today, we got a reaction to the Charleston White versus Soldier Boy issue. Soldier Boy, Charleston White got in some type of issue. And of course, Charleston White got an interview with academics immediately so that he can go talk about it. Let's see what this bozo got to say. No security. So I'm standing out on College Drive outside of the shoe pattern, smoking me a blunt with. First off, I just want to know why Charleston White is so fucking frail. Dude is built like a child. Like, you are literally built. Look look how little this dude is, the academics. Bro, academics is not big, bro. This dude got academics out here looking like he's me. Charleston White for sure shopping, baby Gap. Hat little as hell. That is an extra small, tiny t-shirt with some extra small, tiny pants that he's wearing. This dude got to be about 115 pounds. Always talking trash like he could beat somebody. Let's hear the lies he going to tell. They go my partner to get some shoes. I see this sprinter thing stop in the middle of the street. And every nigga got out the car, reached down to tie shoes or to put on some shoes. And you can count every nigga. How many niggas? It was 12 niggas. A dozen. I met a dozen niggas in a big sprinter van. It's the rolling loud. Look at his face. You could see the fear. In his face Now ain't this the same dude Talking about he got a strap on him He always got his gun He gonna lay something out You run up on him Ten dudes just hopped out On a sprinter van You had all the time To count them Tell what they wearing Look at they Where, where that strap action at You said you was gonna Pull that strap out Lay everybody down Shoot the block up Personally I don't think With them little baby arms He could even pull a gun out And shoot anything He gonna miss everything let, let, let's hear how he gonna weasel his way out of this. So ain't no nigga, ain't no good. They ain't shape like, like, well, with a short jaw. The big yellow nigga. Where they in shape. A a academic is a clown. Where they, there, there's 10 of them, bro. Don't matter if they in shape or not. Charleston White not in shape. Look at him. You think this bozo in shape? Look at him. That looks in shape to you? Dude got eight inch arms. Dude is literally built like a super baby flyweight his fighting class is kindergarten he literally look at this dude if you just seen didn't see the face just cover the face tell me that don't look like a 13 year old that do not look like a grown man look cover the face that is a child look at that hat look how little his head is bro my fist bigger than his head it 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 don't make no sense See, that's a sign of fear. They big and taller than you. What relevance does that have? You see, he was tough. You assessed it. Where you strapped? You just said they was reaching for their guns. Two of them got out reaching for their guns. Okay, self defense. Where your gun? That's self defense, bro. Where your gun? He he definitely gonna he didn't shoot, so he definitely gonna find some way to weasel. He gonna he gonna say the cops was there or something. He gonna look for some way to weasel his way out of it, cause he he a weasel. He built like a weasel. How you see all this like in like a split second? It's not a split second. This didn't happen in those split seconds. He might have one out, right? Nigga, but I still can see you right now. Yeah, but like like you gotta I see you. you I see, but this this ain't fast. This ain't. These is niggas who not ready to do what they say they're ready to do, homie. These is niggas who... Just said they was reaching the for their guns. I see them stop the car. Somebody said, that's Soldier Boy. I already know me and Soldier Boy got problems. He ain't in no rush to get to me. It takes them niggas a minute to walk over here to me and give me time to get out the car. I'm already prepared for whatever. We're, we're thinking, let me, run. let me get the fuck out of here. Man, I ain't no thing. I'm saying, I need to see I know what I got And I know the average Don't know how to respond Watch he, here, here comes a blatant lie Because he's got a lie to save face This is why I really think that He ran like Soldier Boy said why, listen, listen close Listen close I know this I train for this I practice this nigga I'm, I'm a gun I'm a You say I practice this he about to say he's a gun expert. That's what he's about to say. He practiced for this. Watch, listen. So, 
I go to the gun range. I practice. I go to the gun range. I practice. He's he's saying he had a gun. Watch. He sound like Detroit Dust training right now. He said, I'm ready for war. The end of the war, Armageddon. Armageddon? Armageddon, bro. I know it's a big word for such a small, tiny, frail, beta, insignificant, tiny body guy. It's Armageddon, bro. I've been practicing and preparing. I buy bullets. I buy guns. I be watching you with all the weapons. I buy guns. First off, ain't you a felon? How you buying guns? Oh, that's a whole nother story. Let's go. They gave me time to think and plan. Where are them guns? I know if they get in striking distance, they're not walking up on me to talk. So you're saying they're coming to do you some harm. Okay, when they get up this toe, hit their motherfucking ass they make. You gotta already be. When they get up close, I'ma hit them. I sit somewhere up there. So okay. I'm already thinking, okay, they're going to space it for. But I'm already, I'm a strategic nigga. I'm already, I already gotta be thinking, huh? Does that mean you're looking at fear or uh-huh. that, that just means you're prepared? Oh. Uh, did you see that white brother kill the 10 black people with the buffalo? Yeah. You better be ready. You don't know when that's coming. You seen that white, you seen that Mexican go shoot up that school and you buy it? I don't know, we live in a time, you don't know what's going to happen. We do live in a time, we don't know what's going to happen. You can't prevent it. It ain't about preventing it. It's about being ready to respond. It's about being ready to respond. See, this is the cap. He's building the cap up. Watch. Yeah. You got matches just in case you need to start a fire. You see what I'm saying? I, I, I'm thinking when I leave my house, be ready for whatever. This ain't got nothing to do with fear. This got something about making it back home. That's why most niggas don't make it back home. This ain't got nothing to do with fear. This is about making it back home. In case there's a shooting somewhere, he can prevent it because he's prepared. He's bought all these guns and all these bullets and he's been at the gun range and he's been training and these 10 guys just hopped out on him. They got guns, they're armed, they're going to do him harm. Okay, you ready to let that fire then? All right. Yeah, bullshit. The objective is to make it back home. Well, so, so this is a perception of rappers. I'm wondering when you see Soldier Boy, people usually kind of talk about rappers like they're the most violent people that walk the land. When know. you see 10 dudes and so it's boy hop out, are you saying, yo, all right, I'm going to do this. So you are, you, you prepared in that sense, but shit, they might just beat my ass. Long before I see Soldier Boy, I'm thankful. Man, what if you ever got a situation where somebody jumped on you? What would you need to defuse the situation? Man, I teach my son this. I teach my daughter. Whoa, 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 whoa. If you got in a situation where 10 people jumped on you, what would you need? It? And his answer is Mace? My God, Mace? The, the rapper? Are, are you calling God? I, I know he's not talking about some fucking pepper spray. You just said these dudes had guns and everything. You, about you just said you was ready for shootings. School shooters and mall shooters. You said you was on the gun range with guns and bullets. Mace? What are you, my grandmother? Somebody's mom? What the? Dude, There's no way. He's talking so, about pepper spray. I ain't thinking about soldier boy. I'm thinking about a Mexican, a bunch of Mexican, a bunch of white boys. He's talking about a bunch of pepper boys. spray. I'm not thinking. I'm going to tell you right now. 10 Mexicans hop on you and you got pepper spray getting your ass whooped. I'm going to tell you right now. Mexicans be eating hot peppers out the jar. Mexican might eat some mace. You spray a Mexican with some mace, he might just take it and just spray his mouth with it. That's that's literally a breath mint to them. You think you're going to put some hot peppers? That shit's made out of hot pepper. Mexicans be out here eating some shit that's so fucking hot that if you even look at the shit, it's going to give you diarrhea for three days. I know he ain't talking about spraying some Mexicans with some damn pepper. If by some, I'm saying, nigga, if this happens, what would you do? That's what you got to be asking. If this happens, what would you do? 
you should pull them guns out that you was talking about. That you've been training with. That for your protection, your, your life is at risk. Ten dudes is jumping on you with guns. Gang members that you got an issue with. Your answer is mace? Sound like somebody grandmother to me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Weren't you with people that was like, I went with nobody. Nobody. I went with nobody. I went with one other man. And all you had was mace. And mace. I'm down here in Miami with one other man. I wasn't with nobody, but and I was with another person. Of, the type of defense you have is mace. It's mace. The only type of defense you have is mace. Remember what I told you to remember. This dude just said he always got it on him. He's always prepared. Start talking about guns. Now you say you ain't got no gun on you. You see the contradictions? This is what happens when somebody lies. Their lies collapse upon themselves and they fall apart. And this happens a lot with Charleston White because he's a pathological liar. He continuously lies to try to give himself some type of credit that he really doesn't deserve because he's a liar he didn't do 99 percent of the stuff he says are the stuff he and he ain't prepared because 10 dudes just jumped out with guns on you and you said you got some mace and that over? I, know it's over. I knew some mace was gonna so, work okay, if me so and 10 of the homies hop out on charleston white and he got some mace charleston white getting washed up so they Beat all up and down the street we'll And I'm so spraying him with his own mace After we stomp him out He ain't got no video footage Cause it would have been all over the internet Ain't no video footage He said we got it Re Remember what he said He said we got the video footage Now listen He gonna get caught in another lie See he got a circle around he just lies. So every time he lies, he, he runs circles. Watch. So he would get ready to buy some weed for the nigga. And I heard him say, no, I got some, I got some people. They can come back up here and get me. He disappeared. So in my mind, he didn't want to call. Oh, you think he, 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 he you? Yeah, yeah. So in my mind, he didn't want to call soldiers were up there. But as I began to look in hindsight, why would they get out unprepared? Why would, if, he, if somebody called him, why would they get out and put their shoes on? So they must have just had to spot them. Because they weren't prepared. They had to put their shoes on, tie their shoes up. And that's where they fucked up with it. It gave them too much time to logically and critically think. Now I'm critically thinking, okay, we're going to be going in this store. No, okay, we're turning right. We're coming straight to you. Okay. This is just a bunch so, of cap man, as he talks circles man, around the topic. Nigga, is there any words he's saying? Is it? Yeah, he said, I won't talk to you. And I don't say no. When he say when when they all spray that in here. <laughs> listen, listen, when he say this here, when he get right here, I let him get right up. So he's in front of his entourage. They all lined up in front of me. I'm talking the corner. I'm getting back out. He's in the corner. What corner is you in? There's not a corner on that block. And it, there's a building, but you're not gonna be in a corner. There's plenty of space for you to run and walk off. First off, Florida's not even built like that where you're gonna get stuck in a corner almost anywhere. Because they got plenty of space to run through alleys in between the buildings, etc. So that alone is cap. So I gotta run through there if I'm gonna run. If I'm gonna run, they got every opportunity to grab me, trip me, so I can't run. Nigga, I hit him. He right here. I hit him. I'm gonna get the whole entourage. I'm gonna run the police talking to him. You spray base, you go cross the I'm gonna run through there. The police taught you. Yeah, the police taught me you gotta run through there. The police taught you. Watch this. Academics gonna try to help him out of this situation. And he's going to walk himself back into it. First off, if you spray 10 people with some mace and you stand there, they're just going to rush you. But he's got cap for that. And watch academics try to save him. Uh, and then you come back across the nose and laugh. Officer yeah, academics. Huh? Watch. Oh, oh, you that. There you go. Try to save him. <laughs> Look, I know law enforcement. Walks himself right into it. That you out here learning and talking to law enforcement, etc. I told you he a snitch. And he an informant. Walked himself directly into that. See, academics try to get him out of that. How you learn that? It could have been like YouTube video. No, I know law enforcement. I learned from law enforcement. Yeah, we know you do. Because you out here trying to set people up. Get them to do something to you so you can call police on them. Come back and lean on him. <laughs> on soldier? Yeah, I'm really, 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 really few seconds to a minute you're gonna be delirious that's that's cap i've been sprayed with mace i've been sprayed with prison mace i've been sprayed with the orange crush which is terrible by the 
the extraction team in federal prison. That shit sucks. Sticks to your skin. It's the worst. You're not delirious. You are in pain. You can't see. That shit hurts. It's annoying and it infuriates you. You are not going to be delirious. That is not one of the side effects of pepper spray. But he's got to say that cap to try to make it seem like he didn't run. And I watched all the niggas run. So you sprayed everybody there outside where mace don't even hit like that if it's outside. If you're outside, you're not hitting 12 people with mace. There's too much air. It's too open. Most of them are not going to get hit. But you hit every single one of them and they're all there holding her face delirious. Wait, wait, because that was the cap. That was the cap. Wait. We got to bring that back. Listen to this. Watch the watch. Lies again. They had the whole video, but they took. Didn't you just say you had the video? But now you don't got the video. Somebody else had it, but they took it down, and it's nowhere on the internet. Damn. It's a nigga there on the Snapchat, homie. He got the whole video, but he took it down. So what some people got the back end of it. So nobody punched you at that point. Nobody punched. Man, we used to have a standout. Talking. We had a standoff. You just said they was delirious. They couldn't talk. They was holding it. And you're just there talking. Like. And I'm talking shit. I ain't no running nigga. You talking standoff. trash talking by yourself. After you just maced 12 people. Second off, you can't wipe your face when you get maced. It makes it worse. You can't see. You hit 12 people all in the face with mace. Standing outside. If he got a mask on, you ain't even gonna hit him with it. Soldier boy telling him to do something, and he didn't do nothing. You, you, you see the cat that just goes on with this dude here. The the complete cap and the complete lies. That this dude tells. He got caught in like 15 lies just by me in that one video. Just lies. You say you had the video. You don't got the video. Said you had a gun on. You did all this training. Then all you got is mace. Then you say you maced him. Soldier Boy said he sprayed the mace at him and then ran. And they, they ain't chase him. They was just like whatever. Dude ran off. That's way more believable than that bullshit ass fairy tale that Charleston White just told. Charleston White is going to have a lot more issues like this where people are going to run up on him. They're going to run into him. They're going to catch him. And it's only a matter of time before something really bad happens to him. He's not built for the conversations he be having. And I'm telling you right now, he's not going to go to California or New York ever again, which means he just hurt himself by alienating a whole state. Now, you can have issues with individuals, but you don't alienate whole states because when you alienate a whole state, that just took a whole bunch of money out your pocket that you can't go to. We can't go to them two states now. But that whole story was cap. He definitely sprayed mace at them. He definitely ain't hit all of them either. Definitely sprayed mace at them and then ran. Charleston White out here running from Soldier Boy. Imagine what's going to happen when some actual gang members catch his punk ass. It's just a matter of time.